It's time now for us to start talking about circle theorems and the, the angles in, in circles. And um, unfortunately, a lot of students are a little bit intimidated and even scared of circle theorems, which is a shame because you don't have to if you have a good understanding of what you're doing and if you, if you know what to look for. Okay, so please check my site explainingmaths.com where you're going to find all these circle theorems, all my videos nicely organized. Okay, so this is the first circle theorem and I, this is a, a, a bird's eye view of everything you need to know and I deliber deliberately left um, some space in between eh? and I'll tell you in a minute why eh? because the first circle theorem you need to know is angles at the center of a circle and actually yeah, the same uh, theorem but always uh, separately explained in the textbook is the angle in a semicircle okay so that's actually only one theorem and I'll show you later why and then you need to know angles in the same segment and a cyclic quadrilateral and why is there a space between it? Because for the first one, angles at the center of a circle, it already says it, that circle property, you always have to look for, um, or it, it, you can only apply it when you are, when lines are going through the center of the circle. Yeah? So when you have a radius and a radius over there, okay? So the center of a circle, while the other two circle properties, yeah, angles in the same segment and cyclic quadrilaterals, they do not have to go through the center of a circle. Okay, so for instance, this could be a cyclic quadrilateral, and this is an example of a question of angles in the same segment, yeah, where you can see that the center of the circle is roughly here yeah, and roughly there. So it can't be the first circle theorem because for the first one, angles at the center of a circle, you need to have two radii. You ha the lines need to go through the center of a circle like this one, okay? So that is already important to distinguish. If the lines are going through the center, then you're probably looking at this one. If they're not, it's one of these two, okay? The last things you need to know are angles between a tangent and a radius and uh, tangents from external points. I'm just gonna say something about that too, yeah? So here we are already talking about tangents, yeah? And a tangent is, if I quickly sketch that, is a touch line uh, at the circumference of a circle. Yeah? So if I have a circle, uh, then this is a tangent, yeah? It's just touching the circumference. Oh, well, that's not really a tangent, but almost a tangent, okay? Anyway, so again, very different compared to these two angles in the same segment, cyclic quadrilateral, and this one, which is angles at the center of a circle. Okay, so that's all you need to know. And I'm going to explain in the next few videos each uh, theorem uh, separately. Uh, but it's every time for you important, I will return to this sheet a few times, it's every time important for you to realize, are the lines going through the center? Yeah, because I'm probably looking at this one, okay or are they not going through the center, then it's one of these, yeah, or are we talking about tangents? Okay, so my next video, I hope to see you there, we're going to look at the angles in the, at the center of a circle and what that exactly means, uh, otherwise go to my site explainingmaths.com where you'll find all those videos nicely organized. I'll see you there, bye-bye.